वेलकम टू माय चैनल रेडिएंट लिविंग आई एम डॉक्टर प्रमोद जोशी एमडी मेडिसिन प्रैक्टिसिंग लास्ट फोर्टी थ्री ईयर्स रिसेंटली आई केम अक्रॉस अ केस अ यंग बॉय अबाउट ट्वेंटी फोर ईयर्स ऑफ एज हैड क्लॉट इन इज वेन्स इन द लेग एंड द क्लॉट मूव टू द लंग्स एंड ही बिकेम सीरियस ऑन इन्वेस्टिगेशन वी फाउंड दैट ही हैड हाई होमोसिस्टीन एंड लो विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व दिस ट्रिगर्ड मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन विटामिन बी ट्वेल्व एंड प्रेजेंट इट टू यू टूडे in this video we will see everything about vitamin b12 what is vitamin b12 it is a water soluble vitamin also called as cobalamin in our blood plasma and cell cytoplasm it is converted to methyl cobalamin our cells have got power houses called mitochondria inside the mitochondria it is converted to to deoxyadenocobalamin the supplements of vitamin b12 that we take like tablets and injection they contain cyanocobalamin do you know from where we can get vitamin b12 the animal source the dairy products the plant source fortified foods and our supplements what we take the tablets and injections the non vegetarian people can enjoy all five sources while vegetarians can enjoy other than animal source like dairy products plant source fortified food and supplements vegans have got only three choice that is plant source fortified foods and supplements we will see them in the next two slides we will see which diet resources give us vitamin b12 the animal based sources has got high vitamin b12 content like meat of these different animals the type different types of the shellfish the varieties of the fishes like salmon sardine tuna etc the liver and kidney do have some quantity of b12 available and particularly egg yolk has is rich in b12 but for the vegetarians dairy product source is very important like milk buttermilk curd yogurts cheese and paneer in plant based source the nori seeds available as sheets the chlorella algae we can get in tablet form the nutritional yeast mushrooms and fermented soya bean do contain significant amount of b12 the healthy bacterial flora of our intestine does produce some amount of b12 but for vegans and vegetarians the b12 added foods or fortified foods are important like plant based milk like soya almond and oat all types of cereals can be fortified with vitamin b12 many of the ready to eat foods are added and fortified with b12 including fortified spirulina the supplements what we take vitamin b12 injections and tablets when you get your reports of master health checkup or company health checkup you must know the normal levels of vitamin b12 what is the sufficient level for the body and what is insufficient this have been mentioned in this slide next slide will tell you about the deficiency levels of vitamin b12 Point deficiency of vitamin B12 is between 150 to 200 picogram, and between 100 to 150 picogram is moderate, and the severe deficiency is less than 100. Raised homocysteine levels and raised MMF levels of methyl malonic acid are indirect evidences of vitamin B12 deficiency. This slide shows you the recommended dietary allowances for vitamin B12 from the birth to 14 plus years. it starts from 0.4 micrograms and gradually increase to 2.4 micrograms in adulthood special situations like pregnancy requires high vitamin b12 about 2.6 microgram and in lactation we need highest vitamin b12 requirement 2.8 microgram absorption of vitamin b12 is very complex when taken orally as you see in this slide i'll explain you in detail oral vitamin b12 absorption is either passive or active the passive absorption is rapid happens from the lining of the cheek duodenum and ileum but it is inefficient only less than 1% is absorbed the sublingual route is very efficient almost 80 to 90% is absorbed here the tablet is kept under the tongue it dissolves in saliva and gets absorbed in the blood vessel under the tongue in active absorption it happens in the ileum under the effect of a special protein secreted by stomach called gastric intrinsic factor even small quantity is 100% absorbed but this process is very complex and slow it takes about 6 hours for b12 to appear in portal circulation 
from where it is taken to liver for storage. Injectable vitamin B12 acts immediately. It is very rapidly absorbed in plasma and utilized 100%. It makes up the deficiency in just four to six injections. Hence, it is the first choice of treatment of vitamin B12 deficiency. Are you aware that vitamin B12 plays very important role in multiple systems in the body? We will see it now. Vitamin B12 is required for us daily in small tiny quantities of picogram, but it does very important and thousands of functions in our body. It is utilized for multiple chain reactions in fat and carbohydrate metabolism to activate the coenzymes. It is very crucial for synthesis of DNA and its functioning. DNA is a vital part of the nucleus in each and every cell. Vitamin B12 is utilized for hormone synthesis like happy hormones dopamine and serotonin, sleep hormone melatonin and sex hormones and many more. Vitamin B12 is required for synthesizing the myelin sheets of the nerve or covering which insulates from each other and it is required for signaling across the nerve junctions for communication. So it plays a very vital role for entire functioning of the nervous system. We know our body, each and every cell has got powerhouses like mitochondria. These mitochondria produce energy with the help of B12. So when we are low in vitamin B12, we feel drained out, lethargic, inactive, depressed. As vitamin B12s are made up, the person is more enthusiastic, feels very active and energetic. B12 is also utilized for maturation of the red blood cells from its precursors to the final stage. Now you know, daily requirement of vitamin B12 is very minimal. Still, we get vitamin B12 deficiency commonly. Why? 80% of the vitamin B12 deficiency patients have poor dietary intake. The vegetarians and vegans have got high incidence of vitamin B12 deficiency. Malabsorption diseases and diseases of liver and pancreas can cause deficiency of B12. Some surgeries of resection of stomach, intestine definitely cause B12 deficiency. Long-term alcoholism and smoking do cause lowering the levels of vitamin B12 in the body. Prolonged use of some medicines like metformin, antacids, proton pump inhibitors and oral contraceptives definitely decrease the vitamin B12 levels. Some genetic factors like total defect of the intrinsic factor required for absorption of B12 and type 1 diabetes or aplastic anemia can cause severe vitamin B12 deficiency. Now we see manifestations of vitamin B12 deficiency. In neurological symptoms, we can get tingling, numbness, burning of hands and feet, some point impairment of the vision and the smell. In extreme cases, we do get depression, affection of the cognitive functions, Alzheimer's disease, and very prolonged cases can have power loss in the lower limbs. Vitamin B12 deficiency disturbs the hormones, particularly happy hormones like dopamine, serotonin, the sleep hormone, melatonin, and sex hormones, which can cause mood swings, affection of the sleep rhythm, and importance. In skin and hair, the skin can look more pale, wrinkled, there can be loss of hair. Sometimes we do get excess pigmentation at the knuckles and at the small joints of the hands and feet. In the mouth, we get ulcers in the, on the tongue and the lining of the mouth because B12 is required to form the epithelium. In cardiovascular system, the clotting mechanism increases and it can lead to clotting of the blood in the deep veins or it can cause heart attacks and paralysis. Treatment of vitamin B12 deficiency is very easy. And the preferred treatment is with the injections because it corrects deficiency very fast. In severe vitamin B12 deficiency, we can take daily injections for seven days, followed by weekly injections for four weeks and later on once a month for long term. In moderate deficiency, we can take two injections in the first week, then weekly injections for three weeks and later on once a month for long term. And in mild deficiency, we can take one injection weekly for three weeks, followed by once a month for the long term. The long term means we have to go on taking for a very prolonged period of time. The second best treatment is sublingual vitamin B12 tablets, which are absorbed almost 80%. 
Whenever we are planning the long-term treatment with vitamin injections, many patients prefer to take sublingual tacbit long-term than injections. But I suggest everyone takes initial injections and can be followed up by sublingual tablets. Now you got all the knowledge about vitamin B12, how to get it from the diet sources, how to identify its deficiency and how to correct it with a simple treatment. Thank you for watching this video. Do like it, share it with your near and dear ones and stay fit and healthy till we meet in the next video.